Hey there, it's Akila. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. This is all rental friendly. So I did a little DIY kind of refresh on my apartment. I didn't want anything, well, I can't have anything that is super permanent because it's a rental. So everything is renter friendly, removable when you leave or if you wanna change out while you're still here. So uh, if you like what you see, go ahead, like, subscribe. Um, let me know if you wanna see more of my DIY videos and if you have any questions, let me know, enjoy. All right, so this is my before bathroom. I kind of kept on the floor right now and everything's just on the counter um, yeah mirror is not framed yet Our shower and these kind of plain white creamish walls a few photos of what the bathroom looks like all right so here I am getting started um, trying to <laughs> unpeel the peel and stick. So I'm using peel and stick uh, wallpaper. And I chose this pattern for a few reasons. I like it, but also the pattern is pretty forgiving in terms of if I make any mistakes. And as you see, that's going to be the border that I add on there at the end. I think the walls actually look taller already. Maybe it's just me, but it looks good so far. Okay, so I'm starting to add the second panel of peel and stick and you can see I'm using a smoothing tool which really helps just kind of keep everything flat and as you kind of it's always easier to start at the top and then roll down also that's the backing just coming down uh, did a little trimming <laughs> so making it easier for myself and then smoothing it down as I get further down the wall this part I had to trim around the air vent and I used an exacto knife which is like my best friend <laughs> with these projects smoothing tool and an exacto knife that is really what you need with um, kind of that's pretty much it so this part was pretty challenging as you can see I'm trying to figure out how to get around the towel bar because I, at the time, I didn't know that I could actually remove <laughs> the bar, and I figured it out here. So uh, I was trying to actually maybe, okay, see if I could take the whole thing off, because that would be easier, um, simpler, but I couldn't. So I smoothed around, and little by little, etched around with the X-Acto knife, and it's like a, like a kind of a combination of a pen and a razor. It's really helpful for, you know, getting around small things, um, trimming when scissors don't really work. So I trimmed around, figured my way around the circular knob, and then smoothed it down. So now on to the third panel. And as you see um, on this one, there will be a little bit of space that is created because, like I said with the pattern, it's not, you know, because I'm not, you know, doing it exactly perfect, the pattern is pretty forgiving, which is quite nice. So I can kind of fill in later, you'll see. And then just trimming around again with the X-Acto knife and smoothing tool for the second knob of the towel rack. Just smoothing it down. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. And then I just had another, this wasn't a full panel. These were just kind of pieces that I could piece together because of the overlapping nature of the leaves in the pattern it's pretty great that you can just kind of use scraps so that was pretty good and then just getting the corners and this is what i was talking about filling in the little white gaps i just cut really really thin strips of the paper and filled it in and here we go with the border I feel like this just kind of ties this whole wall together and it didn't have to be even because I was covering it with a border love it love it love it love it all right this is so cool and trim it just adds such an elegant flair to it so I have an extra piece um it was like the perfect amount to cover the wall and I have this little square, so instead of just throwing it away, I figure why not cover um, the light switch. So at first I was trying to use that entire piece to just cover and then try to figure out around the light switches. 
that didn't work. So I just cut strips and then would paste on, paste on, and yeah, it was really great. Just using the smoothing tool and the X-Acto knife, and then I would just use the strips as needed. So it was really pretty simple to do this. Okay, so now it's time for some shelving. Um, my apartment does not have good storage in the bathroom, so I got these uh, just on Amazon. It says three shelves. I got a different set initially, but I didn't measure properly. So make sure you do that, uh, so I had to return those. But um, this one is something that would, you know, fit everything, but also not get in the way of the shower. So about to put these up. Okay, so I started with measuring the length of each shelf and using my little leveler, which uh, just lets you know whether or not things are actually straight. So very handy to have. So just doing my measurement, the instructions said to drill holes, so I f <laughs> followed the instructions. Why not, right? Yeah. And then I started to hammer um, the tools that they provided, hammer them in, uh, use the wall anchors and you know the the screws that they provided and seeing if that works okay so that's not really working <laughs> for me the screws um first off the the drill bit that they said to put was way too big so that's exciting um huge holes now in the wall but that doesn't work and then these are just way too long for my wall apparently so it actually stops at a certain point so screws aren't going to work uh, this is a rental so um, I have nails I'm actually gonna tap them in and see if it will hold fingers crossed oh. all right so third time is a charm um, the nails that, I, that it came with the screws that it came with didn't work in the wall so uh, I'm using roofing nails which I've used before and they hold really well um, they're just kind of like I guess thicker uh, nails and you put like a hang a painting or something um, I had these left over I bought a, um, one set but that didn't work out because the heads were too big but I have these um, leftovers from my patio uh, stringing up the lights so I'm actually just gonna remove them from the white uh, casing that they're in. They just pull out pretty easily, hang them in, and get these shelves up. Finally! <laughs> yes, the roofing nails worked. So the shelves are finally, finally going up. Um, yeah, so just measuring each one. I wanted to do a really nice pattern, um, just kind of like an angled, you know, look. Just make it look you know, more elegant. So um, putting up each one, making sure each is level using my leveler and then putting the third shelf up. And okay, so now I am cleaning up the sink area, cleaning it, cleaning the mirror, and it is time for the border to go on. So um, I don't know if you've ever seen those really nice framed mirrors and they're several hundred do dollars. They start at that and then go up to maybe even like a thousand or so. And um, yeah, so I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So I wanted a faux look that looked really just as nice. Um, and this is a rental, like I said. So here we go. Um, doing a peel and stick for each side. And then I made the side pieces a little bit thinner because I was running out of peel and stick paper. This will be really simple to remove when it's time to go. So just using the smoothing tool and it looks really great so far. I'm really happy. So I'm just covering the cabinets with more peel and stick and just got this on Amazon pretty cheap. And yeah, just using the smoothing tool, making sure to get all the bubbles out. And then just going to go around exacto knifing. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. You know, taking off all the edges, making sure it's nice and smooth. Yeah. So I'm almost embarrassed to show what under here looks like. It is a mess. This is the after organization. I love it. <laughs> Another set back here. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I hope you learned a few things. If you have any tips, questions, comments, please let me know. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I'll probably be doing my kitchen next and a few other projects. See you soon.